In this lab, we're going to look at ranking the salt solutions by pH. So we're going to measure the pH and rank the solutions. And so before you begin, you're going to make a prediction. You're going to arrange the following 0.1 molar solutions in order of increasing pH and state why you place them in the solution in that position. So if it's in order of increasing pH, it needs to be low pH here, high pH here. So remember, low pH would be like your strong acids. Your high pH would be here. That would be like your strong bases. And then your weak acids would be here. And then your weak bases would be here. So go through and look at these and decide where they would be. Now, once you've done that, we're going to go through and we're going to measure those solutions. We are going to make a 0.1 molar solution um, of each of these. Some of them already are in 0.1 molar solutions, so that's really helpful, but some we have to make. So we're going to open up chemistry. We're going to select the acid-base chemistry and then ranking salt solutions based on pH. So we've got acid-base chemistry here and ranking salt solutions on pH. And so one of the things that it says is that they've already got the first one there for you. So on the stir plate, there's a beaker of 0.1 molar ammonia chloride NH4Cl that's already been prepared. The pH member meter has been calibrated and is in the beaker. So you just need to record the pH right here um, in your data table right here. So you can record that pH as 5.22. Then what you're going to do is you're going to follow the instructions and um, record the pH of the other either solutions or solids that you make into solutions. And at this point, you've made enough solids into solution and measured everything. You're not really using anything new. So you should be able to follow those directions and do this lab with no problem. One thing when I went through and did this lab that um, I did get caught up on is there is a second probe here. That's the conductivity probe. And so when you take this out, this probe out, and you put it there, if you are not careful, it's really easy to grab the conductivity probe and put it in there, and then the pH isn't going to change. It's going to stay right there at 7.01. And so you think, oh, the pH hasn't changed, but you're not really measuring that. So make sure every time you're grabbing the pH probe. When you're done with the solutions, you can just drag them here, right, and get rid of the... Well, I said you could just, there you go, get rid of the beaker, right, and pull out new beakers. So, again, nothing really new in this. Um, follow the directions, right, and record the pHs here. 